Nowadays, product manager case interviews is everywhere in all type of companies. Not only the tech companies, but also healthcare and even chocolate company like Hershey's also doing case interviews. It's crazy. Everyone needs to master those skill set, but most people do not know what the best way to answer those questions. And today we had Microsoft product manager intern Iris to do a mock interview with me and demonstrate to you guys what's the best way to answer product case product design interview questions so that you are able to land your dream product manager job offer as well. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director of product and featured in Forbes. I've helped 100 people land their PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continue to get promoted as a product leader. If you're interested in product management course, go to pmaccelerator.io. If you want to learn the most effective way to become product manager, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell button and so be notified every time and turn on a new video every Tuesday. All right, so if you like any of the free mock interview and content prior to today make sure to hit the like button this is the only way youtube algorithm will rec recognize me and now so iris let's do a mock interview today welcome welcome to join our show how are you i'm good hi nancy how are you doing very good have you started your internship with microsoft yet uh not yet it will be starting in two weeks so it's still approaching Awesome. Very exciting. Very exciting for you. Awesome. It's also in person. Uh, yeah, like, finally, I think after the post COVID, all of the mess, and then finally it's in person. Awesome. Awesome. Congrats. So now today, let's do a mock interview. Um, the case question is, please design a mentorship feature for LinkedIn. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a really interesting prompt. And so probably I would start from the some clarification question based on that. Um, so the first one is, is that integrated into the current LinkedIn app or is it a standalone platform outside of that? Is integrated into in LinkedIn app, just like in LinkedIn jobs and feed. It was another tab, which is mentorship, mentors. Got it. And also the second one will be the timeline of the project. Is there any specific timeline of such a, how long that would take for that? Or this for the team? Um, you can assume you have unlimited resources. Of course, when we launch a product, we want to make sure it's relatively uh, fast, not five years, but it, it will, will. But we also want to build amazing products. So you can find a balance between good quality and speed. Great. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you. So based on the clarification, I think there are two assumptions at the beginning. Mm -hmm. The first one is um, people going to LinkedIn is still pursuing the same purpose of that so such as job seeking and the connecting with others we're not changing anything on there and the other is the previous available features are still there so these are the two assumptions and also yeah. adding up all the clarifications i think um i'll be approaching the problem by first identifying the customers are and then i'm going to the needs and then finally go to the solution this will be the structure of that does it sound good yes perfect go ahead so i think the mission of linking in i will start from there so as a thinking about as a product manager at LinkedIn, LinkedIn, the mission is connecting the world's professionals to make them more productive and successful. So based on that, uh, mentorship program is built up on that. And customer segmentation, uh, I will start from the, there are two sides of this program is mentees and mentors. So for the mentors, I will break it down into three groups. So for the mentors, they can be really general advisors, such as they have general career counselor without addressing the specialization. And the second group will be the specialized uh, mentors, such as they are in tech field, they're in arts field, they're in the um, uh, like manufacturer field. So they have the specialization. And the last group will be underrepresented group mentors, such as for those low income um, LGBTQ and first generation immigrants. So all of those, they have the special needs and have special backgrounds. So these are the three categories of the mentors. And the other are the mentees. I will categorize the mentees based on their years of experience. So um, I will use three years a, as a cut line those are more junior and new to the industry and then above that will be five to ten and ten to fifteen and fifteen plus based on their experience at the cut line so uh, based on the segmentations i think i would love to focus more on the mentees uh, based on three criterias i think on the prioritization so mm -hmm. the first of all is thinking about the market size of all, all of these two markets. Uh, mentees are the proactive aspect and proactive group in this um, sense. If we can get them involved, 
that is a highly likely that will be successful in this platform. And the second one is the um, impact that will help to the whole platform. Mentees are more sensitive than those mentors. So mentees, if we address on them, if we can address their needs, we'll, we'll be able to make more highly impact on the whole uh, ecosystem of the job seeker. And the last one is the value to brand. Because of the mentees and also the uh, the the market is taking up and is adding more value to the LinkedIn brand. So based on these, I will addressing the mentee uh, rather than mentor, if that sounds good. Yeah. Have you thought about supply and demand? If you, I, I do understand there are way more mentees, but usually I assume there are fewer mentors than mentees. What if there's not enough mentors on the platform? What's your thought about that? But because you, you still prioritize mentees, but what you thought about mentors and does this demand, supply and demand of mentor mentees, does this also change your decision? Yeah, I think for the supply and demand, mm -hmm. um, there are two aspects. So first of all, the, uh, even though it sounds like the mentees are more longing for the mentorship, but at the end, as you can see from the platform, there are a lot of people offering the services and LinkedIn is currently having an aspect that you can offering services and you can have a kind of a band in your profile and say, mm -hmm. I'm offering specific kind of services. So that means that in this current market, even though I don't have the number, but there are mentors wanting to offer their professional knowledges and mentees i think the supply and demand is not as that imbalanced as we imagined and on the other hand because of the mentees are more um vulnerable and they are less um have less power in this platform starting with mentee will be uh, starting with the mentee will be a available for the mentors to also do a side of the match because mentees can provide more information that will be more efficient matching for these two parties so based on these two i think i would st still stick with the mentee but the demand supply should be something we need to check on during the process very good i like it so when you segment mentors is based on the specialties when you segment mentees is based on years experience why do you want to use years experience to segment mentees that's a good question so mentees based on the experience they have different needs along the way so such as for juniors they um thinking about the job seeking process is about three aspects I would say. First of all is how to brand yourself. And second of all is how you apply. And the last of all is how you succeed in your career. So based on these three aspects of the career in general, uh, for the mentees, they have different needs and prioritizations based on their experience. So such mm -hmm. as for juniors, they prioritize the the job seeking how to brand and for those who are in later stage they prioritize the growth uh, and based on these is going back to their needs in this process awesome i love it okay yeah feel free to continue the process so based on the above the discussion we want to uh, prioritize the group of junior level mentees who are currently looking for a mentorship why do you prioritize junior level mentees we talk about you prioritize mentees but you didn't tell me mm -hmm. why you prioritize junior mentees tell me more oh yeah yeah sure so the junior uh, the junior level is comparably still based on the three criteria we said first of all is the market size how big that market can be and the second one is the impact and the last one is value to brand based on these three criteria the first junior is the biggest market size they currently have and also on the mentor side is also the biggest one that the uh, the entry level there has more people mentors can come in to help so this is this has the biggest market size it is a great starting point as this is we're launching a new product and the second one impact for most of the juniors um they have no experience in the industry and so uh, at the beginning, if we can offer a mentorship program for them, they will be having a better impact for their career in the future, for the growth for them. And the last one will be the value to, to the brand. With all of these in ecosystem coming together, they have game, can be a better advertising for the LinkedIn in general as a mentorship program in the, uh, in the first place. So these are the three reasons for that. Awesome. I like it. Okay. Yeah. Please continue. Now, you know, you prioritize junior mentees and tell me more regarding the different kind of pain points. Yeah. 
I think junior. I I personally can relate a lot in all of the pain points. I'm a junior, and a lot of people are junior. And for me,、um, there are four、um, pain points I can think about at this moment. And first one is the the fear of rejection.、Um, I reach out to hundreds of people, and I probably only got ten reply back. But the fear of rejection is always there,、um, about not not sure how I can move forward with that. And the second one is the difficulty in knowing people. As for me, I'm an international student. It's hard to find the connections, such as based on your、uh, alma mater,、uh, based on your background, and it's really hard to pick up this conversation. So it's the second pain point. And the third one is the、um, the accessibility. So for Most of the people, if they did not come a really ball-off background, they cannot know any friends within networking circle, and this、right. will be a really important aspect for them, for them if it's a public available、um, platform、mm-hmm. as a mentorship program. And the last one is the networking, such as how to talk, and if you cannot find anyone that is related to you, is even harder to. Start this conversation. So, based on these four point pain points,、uh, I think the the solutions will be、um, also. There are three solutions that come up based on these four pain points. The first one is because at this moment、um, the one on one kind of connection can be a lot of rejections. So, what about we build up a multi person group in together? Such as there are several mentors and several mentees in the group. You can ask any questions you have to them, and whoever has the availability can reply. And this is kind of taking off the guard, the fear of rejection. So it is one, not a group live mentoring. It is a group chat message. Yeah, yeah, it's more like a group chat message and a group、um, group discussion session,、mm-hmm. but it can be asynchronous. Okay, but do you think mentors have time to respond to messages? Don't you think it's faster to just tell them with voice? I I figure out actually take me a long time to write advice compared with、mm-hmm. just tell them what's in my in, in my head. Yeah, I think that comes back. To, it comes back to if、um, that there can be an integrated voice messages. There can also be a voice message because in iPhone it is already. Integrated that you、mm. can reply with the word and will be translated to text. So、um, it comes to the question: If LinkedIn wants to do it by itself,、um, I think at this moment it's not worth it to do the text translation from voice. But they can definitely be incorporate the voice message feature.、Mm-hmm. It will not be too much of the cost for the company and the project in general. Yeah. The second one will be、um, a. Tailored algorithm.、Um, so,、uh, in the field of the users, the, in the user flow, and then for you, for the mentees, when they step in, they can fill in a form regarding their formal questions, such as what's your career background, such as where you want to land your job in, and then some、uh, informal questions. Because sometimes I think we are de-emphasizing the informal aspects of the conversation, such as what's your hobby. Um, mm-hmm. What kind of food do you like? And these will be a really great kicker because I remember one of the conversations I had with a networking session was because I'm a strength coach, so she is also in the yoga sector, and that was how we kicked the conversation in the professional setting, even without a professional topic. Just adding on these will be a tailored algorithm for the recommendation、mm-hmm. for the mentees, and the last one will be a speed date, such as we are incorporating the. Uh, Tinder, Tinder,、uh, LinkedIn Tinder feature into it. You do、uh, swipe. swipe. Yeah, you need to swipe, and then if that is a match, you are able to talk and to start kick up a fifteen minutes conversation. If it's not a matching, then it's not. So these are the three solutions I have in mind. I、uh, would love to、uh, kind of check on with you. How do you think about these three? And do you、uh, have any questions? I think why I think two and three are similar. Three is swipe、oh. feature. Two is like matching based on interest. Yeah. So the the two is not a、uh, is not a speed dating. You cannot see the picture. The second one is the second one is more on the blind side. 
you can only see the text-based information from the person. But the last one will be a speed dating incorporating the images. And also you can uh, you can see a lot of people in such a short amount of time. But, but the second one is the algorithm recommendation. So there will be a more a automatic algorithm coming up to your homepage. And you click on each of the profile and can read through the link in. But the third one will be a summary of their profile and a summary of their experience. I see, I see. So basically, two and three are addressing very similar challenges, which is how can you find the right match? So the first solution yeah. is addressing a different challenge, which is fear of rejections. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, to summarize, to bring this back to the pain points, the first, the, the multi-group matching, it addresses mostly the fear of rejection. And on the other hand, it's difficult to know people, the amount of people you can know in a mm -hmm. short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So, and the second one is helps on the, um, on the difficult to know, the pain point, and also the accessibility for those even though you do not have a well-off background, you can still be able to match with someone potentially have a similar interest with you. Mm -hmm. And the last one, the speed dating, is addressing the pain point of the fear of rejection, the networking difficulty, and also the accessibility. So those are the pain points each of that addressing. I see. Okay, cool. Um, I like it. So which one would you prioritize um, to build? Let me just rank it. Um, I haven't structured it out, out but I can talk about out aloud so three criteria i would love to incorporate the prioritization the first one is the market size and the second one is the urgency of uh, of the feature and the last one is the impacted community and uh, for the for the multi group just imagining we're drawing a table um for the multi group the market size can be medium and the urgency can be low because there can be replacement currently such as the competition instagram facebook you can also use other platforms to do it and last one the impact will also be medium in a way that a multi-group matching uh, can also be as you said the tedious in a way meant to work will not reply as fast as as expected and for the second one if the algorithm is tailored to the user's need the market size can be uh, really high because there's low barriers for each of the party to enter in you just sit there, you can just click in and it will not take too much of your time and the commitment in the first place. And the second one, the urgency, uh, to tailor to it, I think this is a high urgency in a way. There's no better platform in this in this market. It can do as tailored as possible as LinkedIn. LinkedIn has all of the data from the user's past user experience and also with the profile. Mm -hmm. So with all of these information, the algorithm will be more accurate than most of the other platforms. And the last one, the impact will also be high in a way for each of the mentee and for the mentors, um, they can step in and for this uh, matching process. And the last one for the speed dating, uh, the market size I think will be medium to high in a way the speed dating sometimes uh, can be too casual and uh, for the customer's perception and image is a harder for them to perceive in this professional setting. That can be a concern for that. And for the urgency, this can also be medium and high in a way that LinkedIn has the algorithm. But on the other hand, um, is still the concern of the image of professional setting of how how appropriate, how much appropriate it can be. And the last one is impact. This can also be high. It will be low barrier for each of the party. So in in the summary, I will prioritize the second one to for the algorithm tailor based on their uh, field and information as mm -hmm. a form. Okay. So in your prioritization, you mainly talk about how much the features if it's going to effectively solve the problem and how many people the size of market is going to use it. Um, what other things would you consider when you prioritize the features? So I think uh, there are costs first of all for the team and for the company to to build up and also on the other hand is for the public image of the company um, will that be a great net positive adding on to the existing really established platform um, so for the cost is easier to understand that there are two aspects of costs how much labor will that be cost mm -hmm. how many engineering and how complex the the problem will be and the other one is the time as we discussed at the beginning the clarification question we'll not do a 
five year plan right now. We rather want to have a, a six month. We can see a MVP and we can testing it, and then at the end we can see the result. So these are the two aspects of the cost. And for the other hand, are the uh, the the brand image of the market, such as if we are adding some really low cost to Louis Vuitton, is not going to work. And same idea for LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a professional setting and career focus, and all of the content is really well thought. As far as in my network, everybody has a well thought of the job market and also the industry. So, will that be appropriate to incorporate this feature into the current uh, image or the vibe of the platform? So, these are the two other aspects to be considered. Um, I will also add one more selection criteria, which is the、mm-hmm. ease of adoption. So the cost, which is more、mm. like engineering cost, how to do it, right? Ease of adoption is how easy it is for end users to adopt and use it. I assume because junior mentees, maybe it's easier to adopt the Tinder style because I'm doing that on Tinder anyway.、Uh, maybe the ease of adoption is easier, whatever. <laughs>、yeah. So. so. So ease and also faster for them adopt because I I swipe on Tinder and then the other day I swipe on LinkedIn, right? So that might be、uh, a rank higher. So basically, we need to increase the selection criteria、uh, when we select、mm-hmm. all the different features. But I do like the example features you had and also rationale. So based on the new things, new new element we add into se- selection criteria, would you still stick to number two? Yeah. So I think number two will be a Better choice based on the adding on to criteria to where we're having.、Mm-hmm. Awesome. So, what potential risks do you think we might see once LinkedIn introduces feature? The reason is LinkedIn hasn't introduced a feature. There must be something wrong with、mm-hmm. it, or they tried it didn't work. What kind of risks do you think might might evolve in、uh, in、yeah. feature, in、uh, solution number two? Definitely, I、uh, I think there are. Definitely several risks, and it is how the PM should think. The first one will be the motivation of the mentors, as we discussed at the beginning. And why do they want to devote their time into this platform?、Um, just、uh, um, there are two ways I think can be addressing these. So it's all about the rewards, out the sense of rewards. So the first one will be previously they have done some mentorship program LinkedIn have done that before is that the mentor mentee and every time you have done a mentorship you can be awarded with a、um, a pen on your profile and then I think this one will be great because you are kind of building up the brand image to other connections for you if, as a mentor you want to build a connection with others you can find some common ground. With the pen, and the second one, I think if we want to make some monetary rewards after the 100 mentorship you have done, you can have a free monthly subscription such as that, or free in LinkedIn learning subscription.、Mm-hmm. I think these are the rewards I can think of at the moment. But the motivation there are a lot of inheritance motivation from the mentor, such as. The altruism,、uh, and that is also the reason why a lot of people want to do mentorship at this moment, and and also why you, such as you, build up the platform of the PMA. So the altruism and seeing others' success, these are some inheritance, um, the um motivation from them. But based、mm-hmm. on that, there can be some adding on rewards from the platform. And the second one is will be the monetization, because in the mission, we when we connecting back to. LinkedIn's mission. We want to help others. Are you saying that monetization is a risk? I、Or、think it's a. It is、uh, more on the.、Um, more. I think it should be thought about more cautiously.、Um, mm. uh, I will explain more why I think it will can be a risk. So、uh, when con- con- connecting back to the mission, we. We are connecting the people and to exceed, they excel in the professional setting. But one of the impact we want to make with this product is we want to address the、um, the people from underrepresented backgrounds because they cannot access the same resources as those well-off students、mm-hmm. or junior、mm-hmm. people. Like、so, cover students. Yeah, yeah, or or those who have a better family income、mm-hmm. that just to. Name a few.、Um, so the monetization at the beginning,、um, I don't think that should be、uh, charged by any chance. But in the long term, we 
are able, we can just kind of categorize it into two parts. The first one can be charged, but you can have access to more mentors, such as you can have access to 10 in a in a month. And for those who are on a free trial, you can have access to five. These can be later stages. But I think at the beginning, we should stick with the free trial to testing out the outcome of the active user and also the satisfaction, the NPS of the users. Mm -hmm. uh, so this can be a risk to how can you switch from free to charged in later stages. Very right, cool. Uh, just one more risk I want to remind you is when you talk about motivation and you talk about positive motivation, you forgot about the negative mo motivation, which is mm -hmm. uh, back in Boston, I saw someone is like creepy. Creepy old man, only mentor <laughs> young women as mentors. Oh, <laughs> as mentee. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's real. So it's like that's an active type of motivation for people who want to become mentors. Very creepy. And that guy goes to Harvard. Uh, so creepy. But anyway, so that oh. should also go into your list of potential risk factor, which is um other behaviors or uh mm -hmm. um professional behavior they want to do by leveraging uh, the professional name of being a mentor. Awesome. Got it. Okay. okay, that is interesting to know. Oh, check out Creepy Man from Harvard. <laughs> Creepy. Uh, so now, so this ends our case. Thank you so much for sharing with Iris. Uh, let me do a quick recap regarding what you did well and how you uh, what sure. are the elements you can improve. Okay, so I do like mm -hmm. the customer segmentations, and also the pain point is very very down to points. Like it's very good, and also the prioritization of customer segmentation, especially when challenge you at the beginning regarding supply demand, is really really good. It's a like very eloquent. And very strong rationale. The part I think we can improve is the solutioning part in terms of mm -hmm. how solutions match into pain point is not very mm -hmm. um, clear, clear because mm -hmm. because I prefer you pick one pain point and blow it up compared with I feel like the first solution is solving one pain point, the other two solutions is solving the other two pain points. So, but you cannot compare orange and apple because it's solving different pain points, right? So, yeah. um, but if you rephrase it, you say, so now among all the four pain points, let's prioritize, let's say, accessibility and matching because without mm -hmm. this accessing people and matching, not not to mention the da, 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 other things wouldn't, wouldn't work, right? So you mm -hmm. can focus on that. And then all your three solutions can match into accessibility and matching. Mm -hmm. and, and the other, like, two and three definitely match to accessibility matching 200%, right? So now the first one, when you tailor a little bit, it, we can use the same solution, but you you wrap, you wrap it slightly different um, to sound sounds more towards accessibility and matching. You can, you can add things towards, well, instead of matching one-on-one, -on -one, what will match group by group? Mm -hmm. And then once you I match see. by group, they're putting the same group. So it's still matching. It's still under the umbrella of matching. But on top of that, you also solve other pain points, such as uh, they felt fear of rejection. And actually, it's like two birds, one stone. You can say it that way. So that it doesn't feel like they are hitting different directions than apples compared to oranges. Uh, mm -hmm. But once you wrap it around, you feel like they're all apples, the different flavors. Like, stuff. Got it. So, so that way. Uh, then you don't need to change that much. Okay, and then mm -hmm. also prioritization of the solution, you do need to add in more like engineering uh, mm -hmm. aspect, uh, which your cost is part of it anyway, uh, was part of engineering and also ease adoption, different part. Uh, you need to expand your prioritization framework a little bit, but but you did well. And I think the risk, different things you go in is good. And also talk about monetization, potentially could be good, could be bad. Uh, that's good as well. Okay, you just forgot the, <laughs> the creepy, creepy side of people doing uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Man uh, but it's still very good. And uh, we just wrap wrap your solutions better to make it sounds more uh, matched. Okay, the, the rest is okay. Great, awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today. And everybody, if you like today's mock interview, you have more questions, or you want to have different kind of solutions, different answers, or you disagree with us, please comment on the chat and also like this video and. Cool. For anybody who's interested in PM Accelerator, feel free to go to our website, pmaccelerator.io to learn more and, and also watch other like sample mock interviews we have on our playlist and YouTube channel I'm going to put on top of the screen. And this is Dr. Nancy from PM Accelerator.io. And thank you so much for joining us, Iris. Thank you. See you, all of you guys. Have a good day. See you guys. Hope you land all of you guys land your dream PM job. Bye. <laughs>